Let's learn about physical and chemical changes today. Every day we come across many changes that takes place all around us. For example, melting of ice, making of ice cream, bending of glass tube, cutting of paper, evaporation of water, stretching a rubber band, melting of wax, boiling of water. All these are example of changes. These changes may include one or more substances. Broadly, we classify these changes into two categories: physical change and second is the chemical change. Let's take an example to find out what a physical change is. Take a piece of paper and cut it into four square pieces. Now, lay these pieces on the floor so that the pieces acquire the shape of the original piece of paper. In this case, when we cut the piece of paper, there is a change in the shape of the original paper. This is an example of physical change. In a physical change, a substance undergoes changes only in its physical properties. Physical properties like shape, size, color and state. Let's take one more example. Boil some water in a container. You will notice that the steam rises from the surface of the water. Now hold an inverted pan by its handle over the steam at some distance from the boiling water. You will observe tiny droplets of water on the surface of the pan. In this case, when we boil the water, water converts into steam by the process called evaporation. And when this steam cools down, it convert back into the water droplets. This is an example of physical change in which no new substance is formed, and this is totally reversible. In this, water converts into steam, and steam convert back into water droplets. Melting of ice cube is a physical change because there is a change in the state of water from solid to liquid. When we fold a paper, there is a change in the shape and size of the paper. Chopping wood is also an example of physical change because there is a change in the shape and size of the logs. So, from these examples, we noticed some important characteristics of physical changes. In physical change, no new substance is formed. These changes are temporary and these are generally reversible. Second category is called the chemical change. A chemical change occurs when two or more substances react chemically and form a new substance. Chemical changes are also called chemical reactions. Chemical changes are permanent changes. These cannot be reversed to form the original substance back. One or more new substances are formed as a result of chemical changes. A common example of chemical change is the rusting of iron. We usually see iron objects everywhere, whether in the form of iron gates of parks or farmlands, iron benches that we keep in our gardens or lawns, bridges, naves, or in other forms. When iron objects are kept in the open, these gets rusted slowly. It means it acquires a coating of a brownish substance which is called the rust and this process is called rusting. Rusting is a chemical change because in this case a totally new substance is formed which is rust and rust is not iron. It is totally different from it. Another example of chemical change is burning of magnesium ribbon. Take a thin strip of magnesium. Clean its tip with a sandpaper. Now bring the tip near a candle flame. You will observe that it burns with a brilliant white light. 
when it is completely burnt it leaves behind a powdery ash this ash is totally different from the magnesium ribbon this ash is actually magnesium oxide which is a new substance in this chemical change heat and light is released now collect the ash and mix it in a small amount of water stir the mixture well test the mixture with a red litmus paper it turns red litmus paper into blue it shows that this is a totally new substance which is a base when we dissolve magnesium oxide in water it forms a new substance which is magnesium hydroxide another example of chemical change is the reaction between vinegar and baking soda add little amount of baking soda in vinegar you would hear a hissing sound and see bubble of a gas coming out this gas is carbon dioxide when carbon dioxide is passed through lime water calcium carbonate is formed which makes lime water milky in this reaction a new substance is formed which is calcium carbonate let's take one more example of the chemical reaction between copper sulfate and iron dissolve about a spoonful of copper sulfate in about half a cup of water in a beaker add few drops of dilute sulfuric acid in the solution drop a nail in the solution and wait for half an hour the color of the solution changes from blue to green due to the formation of a new substance which is the iron sulfate and you can see a brown substance deposited on the iron nail this brown substance is copper so in this reaction two new substances are formed which are copper and iron sulfate so we have seen that one or more new substances are formed in a chemical reaction in addition to forming new products following may occur in a chemical change heat light or any other radiation may be given off or absorbed the sound may be produced a change in smell may take place or a new smell may be given off a color change may take place a gas may be formed combustion is a chemical change which produces heat light gases in the process of digestion various food materials break down to form new substances which can be absorbed by the body so the process of digestion is also a chemical change during photosynthesis plants intake carbon dioxide and water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight to form new substances that is glucose and oxygen so photosynthesis is also a chemical change when fruits get spoiled it produces a false smell this shows that new substances have been formed in the spoiled fruit an explosion of a firework is also a chemical change which produces heat light sound and unpleasant gases that pollute the atmosphere chemical changes are very important in our lives important and useful new materials such as plastics detergents medicines and many other materials are produced by chemical reactions hope you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos thanks for watching